Howdy folks, today we're going to talk about P samples. So, we're in prod, I'm logged in as a QC Tech Associate um, to create your P sample records. You need to go to run, log samples, and do a grid login. Okay, once you get to this screen, now we can select a template, which is this waffle, and zoom on this. And we're going to select the P sample login template. Click OK. And that brings in your P samples, your P sample template. Now, at this point, we want to put in what the product number is. We can, and this, and this is going to be P sample. So if you type P and hit enter, you're going to get these few choices. We're going to select the first one that says P sample. And as you can see, we've got P sample and P sample SR as a choice. So that's for San Ramon. So we're not going to, we're not going to do that right now. Um, and then you see that everything else populates across. So we, we're not going to touch any of these. We're going to leave them all as P sample. Um, the bleed record, we're going to leave alone for now, or the bleed number, and we're going to put in the SAP batch. Um, and I believe that is going to be the SAP uh, uh, I'll think of it inspection record. Okay, and we're going to put the inspection record in. Now, at this point, I suggest that I just double clicked on that to kind of open in another window. At this point, I suggest that we, if we have more than 100 samples, that we keep these in batches of 100. So we keep the root um, inspection record, um, inspection lot the same, and then we can put a dash, dash 0 for 0 through 100, dash 1 for dash 100 through 200, um, a dash 2 for dash 200 through 300. So this is what I'm going to be logging right now, is I'm going to be logging the 200s. Okay. So I'm going to say OK. And this will become apparent later as to why I'm doing that. And now we're going to set the grade. And now we clicked on the grade priority. And now we can select which product we want to grade. Uh, this time we're going to do the piece sample screening for these item codes here. You can double click um, or you can select it and say assign and then click OK. And that brings it over here. Okay, so at that point we've got our piece sample records set up. Now we're going to log 100 samples. So we go up to this number of samples to log and we type in 100. Okay. And now you can see that now we've got 100 records. Okay. At this point, we, we don't have anything logged for the, we don't have any of that information. Oh, I forgot to type in QC here for our test location. Um, you can zoom on that as well. Thought you could, but we're just gonna we're gonna. I can zoom on that. It's gonna show QC Lab. If I were to zoom on a blank one, you can see the the choices. Okay, but at this point, I'm gonna leave this as as set up. The first record is all set up. I've got a hundred spaces now. No samples have been prepared yet, um, but this is at this point. This is where I want to be. And at this point, now I'm going to say Edit propagate down. Now, this is important. Um, this will take that first record, the information for the first record, and paste it on all 100 records down. So we're going to propagate down. This may take a few seconds, but not as long as if we were to copy and paste. There we go. So you can see we're down to a number 100, and it all propagated. Beautiful. All right. Next thing. At this point, and this is another reason why you want to bite it off in chunks, 
because I don't know what's going to happen is if we log, if we have to log out and log back in before logging the samples, it's going to be hard to get back to this screen where you have to do everything all over again. Uh, at this point, this is when we start scanning in our samples. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do if I scanned in this sample and then I hit enter, or if you're scanning, the, the enter key should be built in on the beep and it should jump to the next one. And then we scan the next sample in. I'm copying and pasting from a spreadsheet right now. Um, and we scan the next one and hit enter, right? And we do that for our next 100. So I'm going to grab from my spreadsheet here the next 100. So from 201 down to 300. Copy that. And I'm going to paste that. Boom. So, so we don't have to scan into a separate spreadsheet, but we just scan directly in here. Um, we could scan into a separate spreadsheet, but we don't need to. Okay, at that point, I've got my samples all prepared and now I'm going to go to log log samples okay so you can you can go log log samples here or you can click the log samples here and we're going to see boom now this is going to take some time You can see that the um, audit records are being compiled um, for all these samples. So what LIMS is doing at this point is assigning a LIMS sample ID to those bleed record IDs. So this takes about two minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording and wait till it's done. Okay. Now that I was able to take a bio break and run to the restroom and come back, my samples have logged and I'm back to the main screen. Now, to um, analyze the uh, bleed records to make sure I don't have any duplicates, I want to run a um, data explorer routine. So I go to data file, data explorer. And now I'm going to choose a data explorer to run. So I use this open, open query, search for my query. And now I want to run my P sample duplicates. Okay. And so it's going to tell me which samples have duplicates. So once I hit run, it's going to ask which set of SAP batches do I want to look at? So this is the one I just logged. So I choose this. And you see there are no records that are duplicates. Wonderful. If there were, it would list just those records that are duplicate. And then we'll have to keep those in mind. Maybe take a screenshot or copy the list um, so that we have it. So great. We're done with that. So we can exit out of here. Now we want to see our samples. We're going to start running those, but we're going to double check those samples right now. Uh, so we'll go to Folder Manager and we'll open a folder. Let's see, if I click over on the side where this little arrow is, it's just going to say Sample Folder. Open this up. It's me. We're going to open folder manager and we're going to click the new button um, I'm just going to call this P sample or PS and now I'm going to look for my template okay and gee lo and behold what's it called P sample okay and now I click OK and now once again it's going to ask me which record do I want to look at check this new one hit OK now this 
brings all of my P samples into this folder. So I've got 100 records. Okay. If, for example, if one of those came up as a duplicate, um, kind of nice to know where it is in the sequence, but you'll have to search this last number here and find your your P record. It should give you the sample number and the P record. So you find it. Sample numbers are sequential, should be, as long as no one else is lo logging samples at the same time. So if we find that sample that's a duplicate, we can go into it, highlight it, and then go to Options, Modify Selected Samples. If you do Modify Samples, it's going to open all the records. That's going to take some time. You shouldn't have too many, so we're going to modify them individually. So at this point, we're going to say Modify Selected Samples. It's going to bring up that 47 sample. You see, it's the same one. And now I can go in, go to my bleed record, double-click on it, and add dash B or dash one or dash something. Okay. Um, and then I believe for that one, then you'll have to print a new barcode to put on the sample or, or when you're loading the sample in, modify the sample number. Um, once it's scanned into the system and modify the sample number to whatever you put on it. Okay, and that'll allow the system to query the right, um, the right sample. So you just got to remember that the one samples that you're modifying, you need to do some extra work when you're loading the samples on board. But I'm going to cancel out of this because we had no duplicates. I'm going to exit out of that. All right, so now we are ready to run. And then we'll come back and look at our samples and review them. I'm not at that stage yet, so we'll have to we'll do a sample review, P sample review recording later. All right, so that gets us loaded up and we're ready to run. Thanks a lot, everybody. Talk to you later.